Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to grid drawing. And today we will be working together. We will be collaborating to create a portrait of Martin Luther King. And this um, style is used by lots of different artists. Specifically, an artist that's famous for grid drawing is that of Chuck Close, who was very famous for creating lots of realistic portraits, um, enlarging a very small photo to a very large, large canvas. So we're going to get started. I'm going to need a few colors. Okay. The majority of my colors are black, white, yellow, and gray. And today you are going to have a post-it. So on the back of your post-it, on the sticky side, you are going to write the number or the coordinates of your drawing. Next you are going to begin. And the first thing you are going to do is you're going to map out the colors and the shapes that you see in your piece. So if you finish this early, you're more than welcome to do it a second piece. Okay. Use a mixture of oil pastels and crayon for this project. Finally gray. Doesn't take long, but it is important for you to draw what you see. And eventually we'll put these all together and it will become an enlarged portrait of Martin Luther King Jr. So I'll show you the process again with a different work. Like this. This time I'm going to go ahead and G6. If you do not have really great handwriting, go ahead and ask me and I can help you. And put it X on your number that you did. So that I know. It's already been done. G4. Let's go ahead and and really you're just trying to pay attention to where the lines start and where the lines end 
I'm trying to follow the curves that you see. On your paper. Probably should use a white oil pastel. Might go over it later. Gray. There we go. G6, and I can throw the pieces that I've already done away in the trash can.